Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this scattered pattern in Adobe Photoshop. To start off with, let's go ahead and create a new file. For this, I'm going to use the dimensions of 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. And then we are going to be using the pattern preview tool. So you want to make sure artboards is not selected. I'm going to set my resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color and then background content set to transparent. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on create. For this, we are going to be using the brush tool. So I'm going to go ahead and access the brush tool here. From the top menu here, I'm going to uh, click to select the brush that I want to use. Uh, here under the legacy brushes, I'm in the wet media brushes here and I am going to use the uh, rough dry brush here. And then let's go ahead and bring up our brush settings. Um, if, if you do not see your brush settings, you can go to windows and select brush settings from the menu. And so here um, we have our uh, under brush tip shape. We can see uh, the brush that we have. If I just click it here, um, we can see it's kind of the scattered brush here. Here under spacing, um, you can play with how close it is, how far it is, uh, but in this case, we are going to have it to where um, there's not really an overlap, so we'll just increase our spacing here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on Shape Dynamics. And then I'm going to bring my size jitter up to 100% here. You can see here in the preview that it uh, varies the uh, size of our brush here. And then I'm also going to uh, bring up the angle jitter here to 100% where it will uh, change the angle of our brush. And then clicking here on scattering. I want to bring up my scatter here. Um, for this one, we're going to go to, uh, let's do about 50% for that one. And then I'm going to select uh, for both axes, so it will scatter uh, for both axes there. And then we can go ahead and minimize those brush settings there. So I'm going to create just a brand new layer. We'll just delete that original. I'm going to go uh, default here just to get black as my foreground color. And then I'm going to uh, zoom out here just uh, to bring more space around my canvas. And then I'm going to turn on pattern preview mode. To do that, you're going to go to view pattern preview. And then let's go ahead and increase our brush size. So I'm just using the uh, right bracket key just to get a little bit bigger. And then we'll just kind of see how that looks there. And then now you can just draw um, around the area and because we have that pattern preview on we'll make it seamless as we make our way around the canvas here okay so there's a good starting point for me here and so I'm going to uh, define this as a pattern uh, when you have the pattern preview mode open you can um, save this as a pattern to do that, you can go to Edit, Define Pattern. Um, you also have the option, if you have your Patterns panel open here, you can hit this plus icon and it will uh, save your pattern here. So let's go ahead and test this out. So let's open up a new document. So I'm gonna go File New. We're just gonna use the same dimensions, 3600 by 3600, the size of digital scrapbook paper. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on Create here selecting my move tool here since we are done with our brush i'm now just going to add a pattern adjustment layer here and then i can just select my pattern from the patterns panel here with this layer i'm actually going to rasterize it and then i'll just uh, right click to delete that layer mask here and i'm going to uh, go ahead and duplicate it so command or control j and then I'm going to uh, rotate this, so Command or Control T. Let's go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees. That way it adds a little bit to the pattern there. And then with this layer, I'm actually going to change the opacity of it. Let's go down to 50% uh, here. And then I'm going to uh, define this new pattern here. So we'll just click on our plus icon there and accept it there. So we'll go ahead and add that pattern. You can also drag it from the patterns panel 
and it will create a new pattern fill layer um, and we can just release the clipping mask there and then I'm just going to go ahead and delete these ones and then let's add a couple of solid color adjustment layers we'll just leave this one black for now let's make that one the background and then we can add another solid color adjustment layer uh, let's try something um, like a bright pink here and then I'm just going to create a clipping mask so I'm going to go option click to uh, create that clipping mask and we see our pattern and then with any uh, pattern filler you can always uh, double click if you want to uh, scale it down you can uh, to uh, reduce the scale there um, because we made it with the pattern preview mode it is a um, tileable pattern and so um, it's definitely a great feature and a nice way to create this uh, scattered pattern here if you want to export this as digital scrapbook paper, just go to File, Export, Export As. Under File Settings, you'll want to select JPEG here. And then you have the option to bring up the quality if you want. Um, just note that the higher the quality um, causes a larger file size. And then under Color Space, I like to just have Embed Color Profile selected. And then you can click to export your file. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this fun uh, scattered pattern in Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.